Jim, the super went away to Glenavon today, and that's two in a row now. Just sum that one up. Uh, very professional and well deserved. You know, I thought first 25 minutes today, Glenavon put us under a lot of pressure. They had a number of corner kicks in the first sort of 10 minutes, and we we seen it out, which was good because in previous games we, we, we would have crumbled and we would have conceded goals. I thought after that we we started to control the game a wee bit. Uh, you know, we're getting down. Dylan and Fraser were getting on the ball and playing lovely passes and stuff like that. But the pitch like today, you know, it's very, very difficult to play football. And, and we told the players that that play percentage football today, uh, and we would get a rewards. Fraser then comes up with a bit of magic. It's the one thing of his game that that he's been hoping to improve on because everything up until then has been top drawer. And today we see what he can do, uh, and thankfully it's got us the three points. Like you were saying, Lenavon had plenty of chances, but we managed to keep the clean sheet. Just how impressive the defensive side? Yeah, I thought that you know if we if we look at Sean had a couple of saves in the first half, second half he didn't have as much to do. A couple of crosses that he came for, which was super. But I thought the defence put their bodies on the line. Shane McCauley clearing one at the back post there at the end, and then from that corner or that cross comes in after that. Then Donald Rocks clears one at the end. The boys are putting their bodies on the line, and and that's all you can ask for. And the clean sheet, three points, and. Listen, it's been a difficult few days here at the club. You know, everybody knows, obviously, our thoughts and prayers go out to Paul and his family and the passing of young Lydia, who the players were very, very familiar with. Uh, so it has been difficult. We were pleased to get the game on today. And, and Paul, through all what he's going through, he still has his thoughts of Palomini United and receiving text messages from him today, wishing us all the best. And that, that goes to show you the type of guy that he is. And, Everything that his family's going through on behalf of me, my staff and the players, you know, our thoughts and prayers go out to him and we'll continue to go out to him in the next coming days because it's going to be difficult for him. But I think the thing I want to let Paul know is the Ballymena United family are here for him. And and to be fair, the Irish League family, I've, I've seen the tributes the last two days and, it, and it's been fantastic to see uh, and it goes to show what this league's all about. But, you know, it's been a tough one to take for Ballymena and, like I say, our, our hearts and and our prayers go out to Paul and the family.